to Eclipse Magazine. Hi. <laughs> great Hi. to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you here. We are so excited to talk about your new show that's coming up. Awesome. Yeah, so Gortimer Gibbons' Life on Normal Street, that's going to be premiering in November, is that correct? Uh, yes, yes, late fall. Late fall, okay, great. Well, tell us more about the show and then tell us about the character. Okay. Well, the show is about three best friends who grow up on Normal Street, where nothing is quite normal. And they soon uncover hidden and dark secrets that are hidden from us in bedtime stories or nursery rhymes, and they meet a lot of friends along the way. Oh, that's great. And there's a lot of friends that he meets. Can you tell us about those friends and how they interact on the show? Of course. Uh, so, first of all, we've added a couple of new characters, like uh, David Bloom, who portrays uh, Bad Luck Stanley, and uh, Chandler Kinney, who portrays Catherine Dillman, and uh, a bunch of the parents were added, and a couple more characters like that, and they've added a, a bunch of quirkiness and fun and mysteriousness to the show. Okay, great. Now, how did you get involved in this show? Well, it, it was like uh, basically any other audition, only it was a little bit different. It's because uh, the first night I got the script, I read it over and then I just got really excited and I went downstairs, I ran downstairs to my dad and I said, Dad, did you read this? And he said, no, do you like it? And I said, of course, it's, it's me. So then I went to the audition and I got a call back and I thought I did really well and then I ended up booking the role. Oh, that's wonderful. And you've been really busy in just a few years you've been on Modern Family, and just the list goes on and on. Um, how did you get involved in acting? In acting? Well, it, it started about five years ago, I think. I, I was a soccer player, and mm -hmm. I wanted to get my feet quicker, so I got into gymnastics. And then from there, I went to hip-hop dancing, and then I went to an international dancing competition. And then one of the choreographers said, hey, you know, you got a good look, you got a good personality, you can dance you should try acting. So I thought, okay. And then I tried a couple of acting classes and I just, I fell in love with it. And then I came out to California after I got a manager and whammo. <laughs> That's amazing. And you've only been here in California for about three years? Uh, about three and a half, yes. Three and a half. And you've done a whole slew of shows. What are some of the shows you've been on? Uh, I've guest starred on a bunch of shows on Nickelodeon, like uh, Wendell and Venny and Big Time Rush. And then I've done a bunch of short films that have gone to film festivals, fe film festivals such as uh, Future Self, which has won, I think, eight awards now, and I'm very proud of that. And then Teachers, which was an improv show, uh, Game of Scones, uh, and a couple of other films, and then some features where I was uh, a co-star supporting that went to DVD, and uh, now Gordimer. That's amazing. That's a huge achievement in just a short amount of time. You got cast in the show. Now, after the pilot was made, was there, uh, there is a voting, is that correct? Where people can uh, go online and choose which series would go on with Amazon? Correct. Uh, Amazon did it a bit differently when we did the pilot. They released it, and then for 30 days, they uh, watched how people reacted to the show on how uh, or who was watching it and how how much they watched it and then uh, we were one of the three shows that went to series and uh, we've been shooting ever since and now we can't wait for it to come out and everyone to enjoy. That's great and you've got a lot of fans out there. Do you for this uh, for the upcoming show do you have any favorite episodes? Do I have any favorite episodes? Yeah. Okay um my favorite two episodes, actually the names haven't been released yet, but I can say that my, one of my favorite episodes is of course the season finale, which is very, very emotional and, and it's, it, it's happy as well and it, it'll really just, it, it's an emotional roller coaster. And then also uh, another episode, which I can say the name, uh, Gordimer and the Surprise Signature. That is one of my other favorite episodes and I can't wait for you guys to see it. That's exciting. Now, there's a lot of shows out there that talk about family values, morals. What would you say makes this show stand out compared to other shows of the same genre? Oh, well, this show is, isn't is just a, a kid's show. It's a, it's a family show. It's for everybody to enjoy and, and to love. And it's not like a, a usual kid's show where it might be over the top or uh, uh, to slapstick or anything like that. It's it's more real or down to earth, you might say. And the morals in the story come all the way from uh, friendship and honor to 
loving the family or anything of that matter. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have any anything about your character that you're playing right now? What would you say is the favorite part of playing Gordimer? My favorite part about portraying Gordimer mm -hmm. is probably that he's just a great kid and that he always wants to do the right thing. He always wants to help someone in need, whether it's family or a, a lifelong friend or a new friend or just someone he's never met before. And he's always willing to help. And that, that's what I love about portraying Gordimer. You have a lot of chemistry in the show with the two other actors that play your friends. Do you all get together outside of the show? We do, we do. We all hang out and have a great time. Uh, from the other leads to the guest stars, we hang out all the time. And on set, we, we play pranks on each other and we have a lot of fun and we make jokes. And uh, there's, a, there's a game going around set, or went around set, where we would have these little clothespins and we try and get them on the back of each other's shirts. Uh, of course, not between takes, uh, or not in takes, but uh, in between or like just walking around for fun. Mm. That sounds like fun. <laughs> it was. It was really fun. Now, as we talked before, you've done a lot in a short amount of time. For other actors that want to pursue acting, do you have any advice for them? Well, never give up. Always try your hardest. You, you got to have your heart and soul in it. And you got to love it. And, you know, you, you got to try your best. And there's, there's a famous saying by Henry Ford that I, I basically live by. And it's whether you think you can do a thing or whether you think you can't do a thing, you're right. So when you live with your heart and soul, you can reach for the stars. Yeah, oh, that one too. Great. I love it. <laughs> so Gordon Moore Gibbons' Life on Normal Street is coming out this fall. What can TV viewers look forward to seeing on the show? Well, you can look forward to hilarious and emotional scenes, fun and mysterious new characters, and just crazy new situations that are fun for the whole family. And we do love fun for the whole family. Thank you so much, Sloan. Appreciate it. Thank you.